Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make a simple hair conditioner or dip conditioning treatment that you can add to your regimen to help with your hair growth journey. I will also show you guys how you can turn a really cheap short bought conditioner into something that is super amazing and really nourishing and moisturizing for your hair. So if this kind of interests you, please be sure to keep on watching and please watch till the end so you can see how to do this and also instructions on how to use it. Now before we get into the video guys, I just want to say a huge thank you if you're a returning subscriber. Thank you so much for your love and your support. I know it sounds like I always say this guys but honestly I do mean it. Thank you so much if you keep coming back to watch and also support me by liking i really appreciate that now if you're new here please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family i make lots of diy recipes for healthy high growth and maintenance for all hair types so if this is you please please click the subscribe button now let's hop into the video so you're going to need a really cheap short bulk conditioner guys this i got from aldi here in the UK, I uh, don't know if they are in other parts of the world, but you can use any chip conditioner from anywhere essentially. I think this cost me like 89p and I got it while I was grocery shopping. So very convenient and super easy. So you want to pour the amount that you feel will be um, okay for your hair. So just add as much as you need to depending on how much hair you've got. Next, we're going to go in with some um, Greek yogurt um, after we've, we've done this. Now, you can use any natural yogurt. It doesn't have to be Greek yogurt. Um, any natural yogurt will be fine. Now, yogurt is really good for our scalp because it helps to cleanse it. So it removes dead skin cells from the scalp and basically like all the dirt and oil. So it's very, very good when it comes to that. Now it also contains protein which is super important because essentially it helps to strengthen your hair. So the stronger your hair is the less likely it is to break. Now our hair is actually made of uh, keratin which is basically the main building block of our hair. So the stronger that protein is the stronger our hair gets as well. So protein treatments are quite important as part of your hair growth journey. So next I went in with, with, with a bit of glycerine and that's just to help with moisture. Glycerine just draws the moisture from the atmosphere into your hair guys. So it really helps to lock in that moisture. So it's really good. So I added about one tablespoon of that. Next here we have some uh, black castor oil. So this one is in this bottle just because it came right from Africa guys. Um, but you can use castor oil that you get from the shop essentially. If you haven't got this, it's fine to use coconut oil, avocado oil, rapeseed oil, even olive oil would be fine. So I added about one, uh, two tablespoons of the castor oil and I'm just stirring the whole thing until you know everything is combined and then that's the kind of consistency that we have. If you're looking for it to be a bit more watery, you can add aloe vera juice if you've got it. Or just simply water will be fine as well and that will give you a more sort of uh, liquefied consistency which could be again really good if you're going to apply it directly on dry hair. So I'm going to show you now how you can apply this to your hair and talk a little bit more about how often you can use this um, to see results essentially. So I always have my hand sections guys, if you've been working with me from before you already know this and it's just easier for me that way. So I'm just going to you know, undo every single section of hair that I have and essentially do a bit of finger detangling and just work this through my hair. Now you can spray your hair, let's say you know your hair is like dry and you know it does need a bit of wetting before applying, please do that. You can spray your hair and you know um, follow through with this. But I guess if you've just added water to the conditioner or aloe vera juice before doing this process, it will just make it a little bit easier to spread through your hair and a bit more moisturizing as well. So yeah, just spray your hair first if you feel the need to and then work this through, you know, the bottom, the roots of your hair all the way to the tips. You can also apply this to your scalp, just like I said before. Um, yoga is quite good at just clearing dead skin cells. Um, from the scalp area which again can just mean new uh, leave more space for like you know new new cells to grow uh, which is quite good essentially so after I finish that I'm just twisting that section and then I'm going to do a bit of a banting knot move on to the next section repeat until the rest of my hair is done 
Now, one thing I want to talk about is protein treatments, guys. This one contains protein, okay? So with protein treatments, like I always say, you have to be a little bit more careful with um, how often you use it and also when you use it. Um, because essentially, you can get something called protein overload. And if you have that, it will dry your hair out like crazy and it will cause a lot of breakage, which is essentially not what we want, right? So that's why it's important that you know when to actually do a protein treatment on your hair and when not to do it. Um, and also the frequency of like protein treatment is also important because if you tend to do it too often, like back to back, you can get protein overload essentially. So there's no need to give your hair protein if it doesn't need, to, need it. So the way to recognize that your hair actually needs protein um is by basically just listening to your hair i'm going to talk a little bit more about you know some of the signs that you may actually need protein treatment and this could be a good thing for you um to do if you feel the need to to do it so if you find that your hair is limp it has low elasticity and is shedding a lot then you probably need a protein treatment in that case so go ahead and do that until you notice that you know the elasticity of your hair has come back and your hair is shedding less and less because like i said before the stronger your hair is the less likely it is to fall out um so that's how to recognize that your hair actually does need protein but again you have to listen to your hair guys and if it doesn't need any protein treatment don't do it it's not every single treatment that i show you on this channel that you have to go ahead and and try do you get it unless you do feel the need to essentially so I hope that this helps somebody. So essentially, I applied this, this to my hair, leave it to sit for about 45 minutes and go ahead and rinse it off with just warm water. You do not need to shampoo the hair after this, guys. So just shampoo, uh, sorry, rinse with warm water and that's it. Carry on with your regular, you know, routine as you would normally. So this brings me to the end of the video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching and somewhat find this video helpful. And if you did guys, please don't forget to thumbs up because it really helps my videos out. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Also share the video with somebody you believe could learn or benefit from today's video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time. Bye.